Hi there. This lesson is on converting to common units, and uh, it's very important to remember that before solving any type of problem that you're using common units, that all the units are the same. So if, if one of the figures has a length of 5 meters, um, the other sides also have to have meters as their unit. And then um, keep in mind that usually, not all the time, but usually it is easier to convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit. And the reason for that is just typically it's going to be easier to multiply than to divide. All right, so I'll show you what I mean in these first in, in these examples that I have for you here. All right, so your first one here, we have perimeter of a rectangle, and one side is two feet, the other side is fourteen inches. So by that, you can tell that if this side is two feet, this side is also two feet, and this side is also fourteen inches. Now, when I say going from a smaller from from the larger unit to the smaller unit, I mean we should convert this into inches because it's easier to do that than to change our inches into feet. So one foot equals 12 inches, so two feet would equal 24 inches. We just did 12 times 2, and that's how we got 24. So if that's 24, then this is also 24. And now all we have to do is add. So 24 plus 24 plus 14 plus 14, add those up, we get that's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 72, and then inches. Okay, and obviously we could convert that back to feet if we chose, but it's not necessary. Um, our next example is on area, and I set here a triangle and it has a height of 25 centimeters and a base of 1.5 meters. Now remember the formula is base times height divided by 2. So we want to convert this into centimeters because again it's, it's just easier to do so and if we go back to our formula chart and we can tell that there are 100 centimeters and 1 meter so basically we're going to multiply this by 100 to get our centimeters so we have 0, 0, 1 times 5 is 5 1 times 1 is 1 and then we have one decimal place so that takes care of that so that equals 150 uh, centimeters now we can do our multiplication so we've got 150 times 25 divided by 2. If we were to work this out, we would get times 25, we have 0, 5, 7, 0, 0, 3, so 37, 3,750. And then we divide that by 2. Yes, there are more steps with doing this, but it is important that you have the same units. That way, that way you can actually solve these. So that's 1. Bring down the 7. That's 8. And that is 7. And finally, 5. So our area for this figure is 1,000. 875 centimeters squared. So remember we converted it both to centimeters. Alright, the final example is on volume. In this one we've got a width of 8 millimeters, a height of 3 centimeters, and a length of 4 centimeters. So if we write these up here we have our length is equal to uh, 4 centimeters our width is equal to 8 millimeters and our height is 3 centimeters so we're going to convert these both since they're bigger units to millimeters and we do that by multiplying there are 10 millimeters and 1 centimeter so times 10 and times 10 so we have 
40 millimeters here and 30 millimeters there. And um, to find volume, we're doing length times width times height. So we can do uh, 40 40 times 8 times 30. So 40 times 8, we get 0, and that's 32. So that's 320. And then 320 times 30, just keep multiplying down here, we get 0, 6, and 9. So that would equal 9,600 millimeters and this volume it's three-dimensional so this would be cubed and that would be our final answer uh, so make sure you get these notes and get this get this all this down we'll do some more practice in class so have these with you uh, along with your formula chart and I will see you then